Hey, this is Eric over at Techno RV, and this video is for anybody that has propane in their RV. I want to talk to you today about propane safety, the uh, technology that currently exists on your system to protect you from propane leaks, and then I also want to talk to you about a device that you can add to your system that will make sure that you have 100% automatic shutoff in case you have a leak because current technology does not do that and let me explain. So on propane tanks uh, you have uh, this valve here that is called a overflow protection device or OPD valve and they started putting these on propane tanks right around 1998 and the reason they did this is because back in the day uh, before that time you could open up the valve and it would just free flow propane. So that's obviously not good. Uh, the devices today, I can just turn this on and nothing is going to come out of this OPD valve. And so that was a good thing for the industry that they added. It's a good thing for uh, the propane in your RV to have these valves. Uh, so what happens is, 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 let's say that this is your propane line uh, from your RV that we're now going to connect to the OPD valve. So now obviously once I connect this, the OPD valve safety device will just open up and it will free flow. So what exists after this point from a safety uh, measure is that there's an excess flow valve in uh, your propane line. It's, it's basically in this uh, in this brass piece right here, it's kind of a spring-loaded device there that if you have a certain level of a leak, it will shut off about 80% of that leak. But that other 20% will continue to flow. So if you had a cut line or any kind of leak of propane, uh, while this is uh, good to have and you do have it, it does not 100% shut off the propane. And I want to demonstrate it. So OPD valve, I'm now attaching my RV's propane line to this propane tank. This propane tank is filled with air. Uh, just so you know, I'm not uh, filling the room with, with propane here. So now I'm just going to shut off the end of the line here with my thumb, and I'm going to go ahead and turn the propane on. Now I felt the pressure come to my thumb, and it's ready to go here. The line is pressurized with, uh, in this case, uh, air. Now, if I had a leak, in this system, then that's what's going to be coming into your RV. Again, it is not a 100% shutoff, and you can probably hear, I'll just put this up to my mic so that you can hear, that is a pretty good bit of uh, air, in this case, coming out of this device. So, again, a lot of people think that they have some kind of device in their RV that if they have a leak, that it's somehow going to cut it off. And the truth of the matter is, is that you don't. So what I want to talk about is a device that uh, we have at Techno RV. It's called Gas Stop, and this is a 100% shutoff device. If you have an excess flow of propane over what would be considered just normal usage in your RV, this is going to cut you off from it. And so I want to demonstrate it for you here. First of all, it's super easy to use. It's got a uh, gauge built into it so that you can see how much propane is in your tank here. And the way this works is that there is a, uh, a calibrated ball bearing in this unit. And if it detects an excess flow of propane, then it seats that uh, ball uh, up against an O-ring and completely shuts off the propane into your RV. So the way you would install this is simple. Now you're just going to connect the gas stop device onto the propane tank, just like this. And then you're going to connect your RV side to the gas stop device. And we will just go ahead and connect that here. So installation's easy. Literally, that's it from a physical standpoint of what you would need to do to install this unit. We just did it. Now, again, I'm going to close off the line here. Uh, 
uh, that would normally be going into your RV to pressurize the system. Now I'm going to turn the propane on and when you uh, turn the propane on you need to prime the gas stop by pressing down on the gauge uh, four or five times. And as soon as I do that I feel the line is now pressurized and I've got about uh, a half full tank here based on the gauge. So if I were to have an excess flow over normal operation of propane, this device is going to recognize it and it's going to shut it off immediately. So as soon as I let my thumb off of the end of the hose here, uh, the gas stop is going to jump into action and shut this off, just like that. So now there's no air coming out of this line at all. Uh, and again, that was accomplished by that calibrated ball bearing being seated up against that o-ring in here because it detected excess flow. So that uh, that excess propane that we heard earlier coming out because we were mimicking a leak with the gas stop system, uh, you're not going to get that. It is 100% shut off. The gas stop device comes in uh, in two types and it's basically uh, depends on what your connection point at your uh, propane tank is. This is considered like an Acme uh, style connection and then there's one that's called a POL connection. On the, our website at technorv.com uh, we've got a little chart to make sure that you get the right one. If you have two propane tanks then you need to get two devices and that is the only device on the market that will guarantee 100% shut off of propane should you have a propane leak in your RV and it's called Gas Stop. You can get it at Techno rv.com